So here's the juggle. I have named three babies, and it wasn't easy. You know, I had a three-part litmus test for each one. It had to be sporty and athletic. Cool. Yeah. Now batting number two, Jared Shapiro. And it also had to be sort of dignified and respectful. I'm going to teach you how, how to take a girl out on a date. The Honorable Travis Shapiro now entering chambers. And finally, it had to be sexy. Mason. Okay, Mason's only two. But the point is, the name has to be perfect. And it turns out I'm not the only one obsessed with baby names. According to HitWise, which tracks these kinds of things, the most popular search term driving traffic to the lifestyle family industry websites are baby names. Babynames.com, Baby Names World, Baby D Hold. I recently got to hang out with a founder of Babbel.com, which is a super cool parenting site. And he showed me a new baby names sort of section of the website. Why are parents to be obsessed with baby names? It's this moment of a godlike, it's a godlike decision, right? You shall be named this name. People will call you this name for the rest of your life. I love right? it. It's, a very, it's, a it's huge, daunting. It's a huge decision. It's daunting. You don't want to mess it up. No. Okay, so what is Babbel.com going to do to help the fidgety, godlike parent to be? Uh, well, we are creating the most beautiful page, uh, the most extraordinary series of pages for helping to decide on the right baby name. So you'll click on, you know, you'll type Emily into our baby name page, uh, and, and you'll get, you'll get this, this gorgeous page, which shows you a number of things. First of all, um, if you like the name Emily, other people who like the name Emily like these names. Um, here, here's the data on Emily. Most interestingly, okay, type in your last name. Here's what the name Emily looks like coming in on an iPhone. Here's what it looks like on a wedding invitation. Uh, you know, You're thinking and ahead so here. And so forth. Right. Um, and what I find most interesting is, okay, rate the name Emily. Tell us uh, how artistic, scientific, nurturing, adventurous, humorous do you think an Emily is? Mm -hmm. What are your associations with the name Emily? And everybody, of course, has these associations. Everybody likes Emily. With a name like Rufus, you had a lot of pressure. You know, it's actually strange names are a very interesting subject because on average, uh, apparently people with, people with strange and unusual names are more likely to end up in therapy. <laughs> Uh, oh no! But, yes. You're talking to a girl named Juju, okay? That's yeah, just so not you, fair, you know Rufus. About this. I know. I was a Rufus talking to a Juju. All right. Uh, well, that's kind of an interesting placement. So I decided to try out my name, Juju. My name is Juju Chang, for example. Juju doesn't even appear on the list. That didn't work out so well. So I decided to try out my producer's name, Jim or James. It's literary, it's scientific, it's nurturing. I'm not so sure about that. Adventurous, humorous. He's got a nine on humorous. Yeah, he's funny all right, but looks aren't everything. So there you have it. Now you have the baby name thing all figured out. Now all you need to worry about is diapers and late night feedings. I thought I was all special with Mason, but it turns out it's the 35th highest ranking name. That's very common. I thought it was going to be all uncommon.